know how we get this country back. How do we get those ideals back? I'll tell you, this is how. You know, the best measure of our country's health is it the number of green pieces of paper in our bank account? Is it the number of ballots that get cast every November? These things are important, but it's not the most important thing. The best measure of our country's health is the percentage of people who feel free to say what they actually think in public. Right now, we're doing poorly. The only way we're going to do better is by all of us, not just me, not just Donald Trump, all of us starting to speak the truth in the open again. Say in public what you will say in private at the dinner table. Say it with a spine. Say it with conviction. Say it with respect. But part of respect is that you respect your neighbor enough to tell him what you actually think, not some fairy tale made up, woke washed version of it. That's what it actually means to be an American. So it's not going to be some political messiah coming from on high to save us. It's not going to work that way. If we're going to be saved, it is going to be because we save ourselves. Every one of us has to do our part. Look ourselves in the mirror. Ask yourself what you're going to do this year to make a country for our children. That's not the same country, but the one greater than the one that we grew up in. That's each of our charge. It's not just Donald Trump's job. It's your job. It's every one of our job to do our part, to stand up and speak the truth. Speak the truth without apology. Speak it with a spine. Vivek Ramaswamy underscores the vital role of unrestricted freedom of expression and the fearless pursuit of truth, aligning with conservative principles that prioritize free speech and democracy. The essence of genuine freedom found in unreserved verbal expression resonates personally. Ramaswamy raises concerns about the potential chilling impact of self-censorship under societal and political pressures critiquing conformity to a woke-washed narrative and noting a decline in people openly sharing perspectives. The democratic focus shifts beyond economic and electoral measures to emphasize the significance of open public discourse. The article stresses the democratic importance of individual authenticity, community engagement, and preserving values, but advocates the positive change and adherence to conservative values initiate at the individual level, highlighting the transformative power of truth-speaking to inspire collective action and beliefs within the democratic fabric.